Another benefit of the smart grid is the ability for Centerpoint Energy to limit the size and duration of power outages. Now, we will still have outages, whether from a storm, a vehicle hitting a pole, or a variety of causes. Where the smart grid will make a difference is in how Centerpoint Energy responds to outages. Today, the process to restore power is almost all manual. For a neighborhood circuit level outage, we dispatch a crew to the general area, which must then locate the source of trouble. This can take up to 90 minutes, and we haven't even begun fixing the problem. Once workers locate the problem, switches on either side of the source of the outage have to be opened, again manually, to de-energize the section of the circuit so crews can work safely. Depending on the nature of the outage, the crew that discovered it may or may not be the right one for the job. For instance, if it's a one-man truck, but the problem is that a large tree has fallen on the line, then we need to call in tree trimmers and perhaps additional line mechanics. Once the problem is fixed, the circuit is restored according to orders from one of our dispatchers and power is returned to customers. Centerpoint Energy employees do a great job in this environment, but it can take a long time, in large part because so many of the steps are manual. In addition, all of this happens today without a lot of communication with customers. Now let's take a look at how the process will work with a fully functioning smart grid. First, I'll demonstrate with this model, and then we'll watch the same scenario with real intelligent grid switches. Here we see three rows of homes representing a typical neighborhood. The middle and far sets of power lines, illuminated in white, are fed from substation A, and the red power lines for the near row of houses are fed by substation B. In real life, each of these three sets of circuits would serve hundreds or even thousands of customers. Let's say there's a storm and a tree falls on the middle row of power lines. This creates a fault, which trips the breaker at substation A, cutting off power to the far and middle sets of power lines fed by substation A. The homes on the near row fed by substation B still have power. The boxes with red or green lights represent Intelligent Grid Switching Devices, or IGSDs. The red switches are closed. When a circuit is closed, electricity can flow through the circuit. When switches are opened along a circuit, the connection letting electricity flow through the circuit is broken and power can no longer travel through the circuit. The nearest IGSD switch is green, indicating that it is open, breaking the connection to the lines powered by substation A. The next step is to locate where the fault occurred. With the help of smart meters and intelligent grid switches, we can isolate the problem on the circuit. We open the middle and far switches so that the lines are now safe for our crew to begin work. By isolating the problem with intelligent grid switches, our crew spends less time searching for the source of the fault manually. While locating where the outage has occurred, the intelligent grid will let us begin to restore power to as many people as possible as soon as possible. The sensors recognize that the fault is on the middle row of power lines, not the far row. The fault has now been isolated to the middle row so that the breaker at substation A can be automatically reset. With the intelligent grid switches open, electricity is brought back to the farthest row of houses even before the crew arrives. Power is restored to these folks in minutes or seconds rather than the hours it might take today for a crew walking the lines to discover that the fault is really on the neighboring lines. The middle switch remains open while a field crew is dispatched to fix the problem. In this case, a tree trimming crew would also be dispatched to remove the source of the outage. After the crews have fixed the problem, the far and middle switches are closed, the near switch is opened, and power is restored to the entire neighborhood. Now that you've seen how the intelligent grid will work on the model, let's do a live action demonstration. The poles, switches, substations, and home facades correspond to those we saw on the model. The fault will occur between poles one and two. As in the model, open switches will be green and closed switches red. We'll see the homes go dark, and then the homes on the left and right will have power restored automatically. The family in the middle home has signed up to receive a phone call. They could choose text or email too. From Centerpoint Energy, when their smart meter tells us their power is out, and another call to confirm when the intelligent grid and our hardworking crews have restored their power. Let's watch and listen. The pops you will hear are switches opening automatically to isolate the problem. Again, each of these home facades represents hundreds or thousands of customers. The white lines show power coming from substation A. 
and the red lines show power from substation B. Families are at home going about their business when a thunderstorm knocks out their power. The outage affects all the homes served by substation A. The pops you hear are switches opening automatically to isolate the problem to the middle home. Power is then routed around the trouble spot, returning service to as many customers as possible. Customers who have signed up to be notified in the event of an outage receive a phone call, email, or text message, depending upon their preference, with more information. This is a message from Energy Insight Center to Shaver customer. To listen, please press 1. This is a message from Center Point Energy Insight notifying you that the power is out at your house. Crews are en route to restore your power. To repeat the message, press star. Sender left no contact information. Thank you and goodbye. Meanwhile, the system dispatches a crew to the source of the fault, located to within 250 feet by intelligent grid sensors, which will drastically reduce the time we spend hunting for the problem. When the crew arrives on site, they will diagnose the problem and restore the circuit to return power to customers in the trouble area. At this point, customers will receive a second notification telling them the outage has been resolved. This is a message from Energy Insight Center to Shaver customer. You will have a choice of two responses. Center Point is aware of a power outage at your residence suspected to be a tree online problem. Repairs have been made. We are sorry for the inconvenience. The sender left the following two reply options. To select, my lights are back on. Press 1. To select, my lights are still out. Press 2. To repeat the message and option, press star. You have selected 1. My lights are back on. If they're still without power, Customers will have the option of notifying Centerpoint Energy by pressing 2, for example, and will route a truck to their area. Today, not only is the process all manual and more time consuming, but the entire power restoration process may not start until the customer calls Centerpoint Energy. Well, now smart meters will detect the outage and notify us, and in the future, the intelligent grid will reroute electricity to minimize the number of people without power, dispatch a crew, and keep customers informed. In some cases, such as an outage during the workday, Centerpoint Energy could restore power even before the customer knows about it. The customer smart meter and the intelligent grid will have told us. Construction of phase one of our intelligent grid, which will cover more than half a million Houstonians in central Houston and along the Houston Ship Channel, has already begun and is expected to be completed in a couple of years. Centerpoint Energy, always there.